I have come up with another exciting tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to make a ferris wheel animation slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here in this particular slide, I have created a big ferris wheel or the other name also known as the giant wheel or the eye of London or different countries got different names. So you can see here this big wheel consists of four different cabins and I have put the currencies of each country like pounds, euros, dollars and Canadian dollars on each cabin and at the bottom I have just given the detailed description of each cabin or the currency and in the background I have added the cityscape and when I click it will start rotating the wheel started spinning you can see here and this is the perfect slide for you if you want to show that the how the currencies are fluctuating which currencies are going up which currencies are coming down or for different purpose also you can use you can remove the the currencies and you can put your own icons or text there and give a very much a different perspective to the powerpoint presentations so let's see how to do this beautiful slide in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background here i've added a cityscape uh, image uh, in the slide master then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes and i'm going to select a rectangle draw the rectangle smaller size maybe this much shape outline make it no outline if you want you can reduce to 0.0, .0 or three or four or whatever so let me just make it 0 0.03 and then align center align middle so the first thing I'm going to make a ferris wheel or giant wheel and then hold the alt key and press the left arrow key once so it will bend towards uh, the left side and then I'm just going to press ctrl D to duplicate again align center align middle and again hold the alt key and press two times the right arrow key so you got this shape again press ctrl d two times alt and the right arrow key ctrl d so you can see here i'm going to make it so you can see here i've got this particular uh, design I will just press Ctrl A and Ctrl G to group it. Then go to insert shapes and select a oval shape. Draw the oval shape covering the whole circle by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect uh, circle shape. You can see here and then just align center, align middle and shape outline i'm just going to give a gray color and shape fill i'm going to make it no fill you can see here and these colors also i'm just going to select and give the gray color so you end up getting this shape and make sure that it is properly aligned with the lines all right then i'm just going to select this circle press ctrl d and i'm going to reduce the size again holding the shift key you can see here and again align center align middle and right mouse click go to format shape under line i'm going to select which is the compound type i'm going to select the second one can you see this and just increase the size so you got this shape you can see here and then i'm just going to add two more uh, smaller circles so for that i can use the same thing press ctrl d reduce the size maybe this much size align center align middle and again press ctrl d reduce it further and shape fill i'm going to give some dark colors shape outline make it no outline and align center align middle and i'm just going to add one more the last one ctrl d is more smaller one 
reduce the size give some dark colors again align center align middle so once you can see here our design is ready i'm just going to select all or i can just press ctrl a and ctrl g to group it now you can see here the design of the wheel is ready we can give a simple animation so i'm just going to animations animation pane add animation i'm going to select spin and you can see it's spinning very fast go to the timings duration make it extremely slow and repeat click on until end of the slide and click ok so you can see here it started slowly moving now i'm just going to make one stand for this so for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size we can increase the size later on and give some dark color shape outline make it no outline and then using this circular arrow you can just tilt it and bring it here you can see here let me just reduce the size a little bit more and reduce the you can see here so this is one part and press ctrl d and just tilt it the other side and put it here you can see here i've just added both and then select both of this and just send this to back so you can see here and then if you want you can just cut it from the bottom so how i'm going to cut it i'm just let me just zoom in sorry sorry for that yeah so i'm just going to insert shapes select any rectangle and i'm going to cut it something like this this shape you can see here and control d the other side also i'm just tilting and just put it here so i'm just going to select this and this merge shape just say subtract can you see here select this and hold the shift key select this and merge shape subtract so we end up getting this shape now it's time to add the cabin so before adding the cabin you can decide the size of the wheel if you want bigger again hold the shift key and increase the size you can see here and just go to format align center align middle so you can see i have just increased the size now let me add the cabins so i'm not going to add the four cabins let me just add two cabins to show how it works for that go to insert shapes select an oval shape i'm just holding the shift key make the oval shape you can see here and i'm going to cut the bottom part only we can see here this part so for that i'm just going to insert shapes select an rectangle and select the only the top part i'm going to select the bottom part and then the rectangle merge shape subtract you can see here you get up you got this shape make it no outline and give some light color or some different color cabin and then i'm going to add one more thing on the top let me just zoom it go to insert shapes select a rectangle and make sure that it is not no outline and give some different colors maybe red and then i'm just going to select this press ctrl g to group it and you can type the name also or the number also i'm just saying a the cabin a or option a option one whatever you feel better you can just add it and then i'm just going to insert one icon for this so i'm just going to icons and i'm just going to select which is uh, commerce i'm just selecting for example dollars 
and just insert you can see here it's inserted here I'm just going to give a outline of some different color maybe orange and increase the width you can see here and this also I'm going to give orange and just bring it here and go to format just send this to back you can see and then I'm just going to select all this press ctrl G to group it let me just zoom out and I'm just going to put it here and then go to format send this to back and I'm going to select one more press ctrl D to group it bring it to the other side you can see here and this will be B and you can just change the color to some other color and you can change this also the icons which are if you want to change the icon go to format you can just say change icon change graphic from icons and let me just go to commerce and I will just select maybe euros and insert you can see here and again I'm just going to give so I got this euros now and this color also sorry instead of this one I can just select some other or whatever and this also I'm going to select format send to back now it's time to do the animation for the cabins how to do let me just show you now so I'm going to do the animation for this the cabin a let me just select the cabin go to animations add animation scroll it down you can see under motion paths shapes or if you don't find it you can just go to more motion paths also you can get it so it is already available let me just click it here and when I click you can see here the motion paths actually let me just zoom it is only available only this one so I have to just increase the size to cover the whole wheel how to do that one I'm just going to select a right mouse click I'll just say edit points you can see here and then I'm just going to bring this point down you can you see here and this one to this end to the left side and this one to the right side and I will keep it here and then you can see it is not aligned and then I can increase this size can you see here it is coming perfectly all right so I'm just going to select this and this and here also it doesn't matter it should not be perfectly matching so even if it is matching a little bit here and there it is going here and there doesn't matter but make sure that this is not going outside of this one and this one I will just say with previous double click and remove the smooth start smooth end go to timings I will just say same extremely slow and until end of the slide click OK let me just play on the slideshow you can see here when I click can you see it started moving you can see it looks perfectly so one full so it will not stop unless and until you end the slideshow all right now let's do the animation for the other one to add the animation for the cabin B select the cabin unfortunately I cannot just uh, copy the animation from here to here uh, because it will have more effort required so instead I'm just going to add a new animation so select the particular cabin add animation and again scroll down and select the shapes and again as you can see here I have to right mouse click edit points now it is very important which point has to go where so this point always will be here and this point I'm just going to make it to the top this one to the left and this to the bottom so just drag this point and keep it on top here can you see 
and this one i'm just dragging it and i'm going to put it here and this one i'm just dragging it i'm going to put it in the bottom and then as usual you can just come here perfectly you can just align it you can see here it's simple but it takes some time but it's simple and again i will let me just select this and this also that's it my design is done here somewhat gone here and there doesn't matter as i said it doesn't matter that much so again double click this i will remove the smooth start smooth end timings make it again extremely slow repeat until end of the slide click ok and this also start with previous and just let me just show you the slideshow when i click so you can see here it is working perfectly so how many cabins you want three four five uh, it is up to you up to your requirement but you can do a very good animation a very much uh, good slide with this concept so you can add the cabin four or three and four or five how many cabins you need and then i'm just going to insert shapes and select the rectangle i'm just going to create a rectangle at the bottom it kind of uh see a grass or something you can see here and just give some different color shape outline make it no outline and then just send this to back so you can see here and if you want you can add more things trees or whatever if you want to add you can add it but anyway it is already there uh, in the background image and apart from that one you can just put the title here and some more detail for example let me just add select this dollar control c and click outside control v and sorry let me just select this dollar reduce the size and you can add some detailed text here so for each box or each cabin you can add the details here all right again reduce the size choose some good font so like this you can add again let me just select the pound i'll just select this press ctrl c click outside unselect this ctrl v and then just drag this down reduce the size and you can just add the other text also likewise you can just add for the other cabins and give the same animation That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.